Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I set up my 49 inch ultra wide monitor to look like this in Windows mode. Most importantly, I'm going to be showing you guys how I took off the title bars with just a simple hotkey fix. This guide isn't on my OBS settings or anything like that. I am on the computer. It's going to be just a little bit confusing because I'm um, now I'm using the 32 by 9. So to start off, you guys are going to want to go to the Microsoft Store. So once you guys are in the Microsoft Store, you guys are going to want to look for Microsoft Power Toys and install this program and then open it. Okay, so once you guys are in the Microsoft Power Toys, just go right on down here to the Fancy Zones. And then, so click Enable if it's not enabled. And then the first thing we are going to do is go to the Launch Layout Editor, which is right here. Sorry, a little faded. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, so once you guys are in this you guys are going to want to go to create a new layout go to canvas we're not going to be doing the grid design we're going to be going and doing a canvas because it allows us to see the aspect ratio so this is going to be your first one you can simply size it up by just adjusting it here you want to do your first one around 1920 by 1080 okay so you guys are going to want to scale the first one to 1920 by 1080 because this is this is going to be your main one for your video games and basically what your OBS is going to be capturing. You can add another window by just clicking the little plus button and it adds another one. And then it's really easy, just adjust it however you want. You can literally make it to whatever you want. You could even do this, you know, add. This one could be your for your OBS, your Twitch chat, your, your music, you know, just basically whatever you need. It makes it really easy and it allows them to snap in. And then this other really important step that you guys aren't going to want to miss out on is just going up here and then going down to highlight distance and put that on zero pixels. So absolutely zero that out because that's going to create some, a little borderline in between your windows. All right. So once you do that, go ahead and save that. That's this part, and then I'll show you guys how to use this. From the start, it's going to be shift while holding this, and then you can drag it into your zone. So you have one, two, and three. Drag it in here. It's, it snaps. Let go of shift. You hold shift, drag it again, drop it in two. However you want, it stays. Or yeah, you can do it that way. It's really cool, really awesome. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how I take off the title bars. That's something that you can't really just do. It's not a setting inside of the Microsoft settings. You can't just go and change that. So for this next portion of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys again how to take off the title bar on Windows mode to make it just way more aesthetically pleasing in the video and to basically just give you just a little bit more to see. For the next part, I did use a YouTube tutorial. So shout out to this guy. I'm going to be linking his video and everything he uses but basically if he does this um he uses his notepad to talk the whole time so it can be a little bit hard to understand so i'm going to go ahead and explain it pretty quickly and just to show you guys it pretty easy you get the first thing you guys are going to want to start off on doing is downloading auto hotkey it's just um it's this is reliable it's completely safe a lot of people use this to make like scripts and stuff i'm pretty sure for like video games and shit and like also just other programming stuff i don't know too much about it so download version 1.1 because i tried to do the um, version 2 and it just didn't work for some reason it wasn't the same layout like in this video you have to make sure it downloads to your main drive wherever you keep your program files because it's gonna be um and you know injecting a script into that so it needs to be in the same files as that yeah it's just trust me it works like that it should automatically put it in your um in your main files where it needs to go but you know just don't put it on a separate storage device you guys are going to open up the notepad and then type this exact same thing that i just typed in yeah i'll have this in the bio so you guys can go ahead and just literally go down there copy and paste this shit, and it'll work so exactly make sure it's just like this and then you guys are going to want to go to file save as and make sure you save this as the file is saved exactly like this the file name is exactly going to be this i'm going to have it again in the bio so you can copy and paste that shit extra easy yeah so go ahead and just save this to your documents and you'll be good all right so once you guys save that shit all you guys have to do is go here find your find where you saved that and it should look like this again i'm super sorry if i sound a little fucked up or stupid um i haven't done a video in like so so long so i'm like a little nervous and retarded at the same time i shouldn't say that i can get canceled um i'm just a little nervous and um, feeling a little slow at the same time 
So um, you guys are going to want to open up with the auto hotkey. So it's going to be just like this. And then, then you guys aren't even going to have to do anything. Um, mine says it's already running, but it'll start running for you. And it's not going to pop up with a window or anything like that. It's not going to have anything like that. It's not going to pop up and start showing you guys anything. It's just going to automatically start running in the background. And yeah, so basically you just injected the script into it. Again, I don't know my terminology. Please don't flame the fuck out of me. I'm sorry. So you guys are going to want to hold the Windows button. And then right mouse, right click the mouse to minimize the toolbar. Windows left click the mouse to maximize it again. The only th problem I've ran into so so far is just the little top little title bar still is there and you can't get rid of it too too much. But what I found the workaround is is just literally because default it's on white. You just have to go down here, okay? Go to your personalization and colors and go here. For some reason I try to use custom colors and go and use the a black but it wouldn't let me use the black so playing games like this it won't look like a little white bar on top it'll just be a tiny black bar and you can, almost can't see it no one's going to complain about it no one's even going to notice it but yes if it's white you're going to see it and it might bug you a little bit so definitely recommend you take changing your personalization colors so in the video tab on obs you can choose your base canvas resolution which is going to be your base which is your base which is the one which is the size of your monitor you're already running and then output scaled resolution is what you're going to be filming so what you want to set this to which it won't let me because i'm filming right now but you're going to want to put this by 1920 by 1080 so you're going to put it um to 16 by 9 aspect ratio yeah so you guys can see it right here just take it down to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and for some reason i don't know why i had to do this but i also have to turn down my base canvas resolution base canvas resolution to 1920 by 1080 because it won't um downscale for some reason but it's okay because it runs a lot better if i just put them both at 1920 by 1080 and it captures just the center of it so unfortunately you don't get the benefit of having the full ultra wide during game but you get the benefit of easily alt tabbing to different tabs and shit when you're gaming it makes it so much easier rather than because um, some games, their alt tab support just absolutely is shit. So you can, it starts like wigging out or it'll um, crash something. So this makes it so much easier. And it's, it's like you're just playing on a normal monitor. But then you also have these two little monitors on the side that are absolutely clutch. So, and they help you a shit ton in recording and live streaming. Guys, that's going to be all for this video. I'm sorry if it was kind of everywhere. I'm going to try to edit out to be more simple for you guys because I talk like a dumbass. Yeah, thank you guys. Make sure to drop a like. Please subscribe. And I'm going to try to be making some more videos and shit. So, ladies, guys.